Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. Guys, <laughs> every, every once in a while, I get into one of these kind of moods, scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, and just looking at the state of our sport and professional fishing and I want to pull the small amount of hair that I've got left on this bald head out. It just, it's so frustrating. And it, and I got to tell you guys, I think a lot about this. And, and I just want to share some of my thoughts about the mountain of sludge and crud that is in our sport right now so stick around guys if you want to hear this <laughs> Welcome back to MFO, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher, and we're talking about just the overall state of professional bass fishing right now with everything that's going on. And I know it's it's always been happening. I think social media has a lot to do with this, and 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 therefore I have a lot to do with it. You know, I contribute. I and so I'm going right out there and and you know acknowledging the fact that I'm I'm adding to the to the crud and and I want to give you my example or my idea of of taking responsibility for this. I put out an episode a while ago talking about rumors of a, a tournament organization banning forward facing sonar. I got to be honest guys, I do that because number 1, I think it's important for people to have that information, be able to think about it and talk about it, share ideas and things like that. I'm admitting, I also put it out there because I think it's going to attract people to the channel and people are gonna watch it because they wanna get that information. What I don't do, but what happens, it's amazing how many people respond to those kinds of things with anger with almost like a virtual street brawl in terms of getting into it with one another in the comments section. And, and I can tell you honestly, that is not why I do it. I, I, it, and I have to be honest, it kind of makes me feel bad when I see that kind of stuff going on in the comment section of one of my videos. I absolutely don't mind opposing views and dialogue. Hey, I think this, well, I tend to disagree with you. I think it's this way. You gotta look at that side of it. And that's kind of my point in this. If you look at the thumbnail for today's video, there's a lot of things that have been going on lately, whether it's, you know, a uh, uh, rules violation where somebody gets, uh, you know, turned in by another competitor, which by the way is a is a rule that, that if I see somebody commit a violation, I have to tell them about it. Um, or whether it's two anglers getting into it on the water about, hey, this is my spot. No, you were here first. I was here first. I was here yesterday. Hole sitting things, that kind of stuff. And other issues related to, hey, were there dead fish after a weigh-in and things like this. All these things that come up, which are things that should get talked about and should get talked about from a standpoint of let's know the information and let's think about how that applies to us in our fishing so that we can do those things or can't do those things, avoid those things. Think about how we're going to act if we're in that situation and so on and so on. And give our feedback quite honestly about, hey, that guy did this and I don't agree with it. Or that guy did that and, and you know, I think he's great. Uh, and again, I, I want to throw this out. I, I realize that this is 
a big mumbo jumbo, but one of the things that I saw that is the opposite of everything I'm talking about is just recently Drew Gill withdrew from the final invitationals to give somebody else a slot, you know, to be able to make the BPT. And, and that was a hugely positive, professional, just good human being kind of thing to do. So there are good things that we see and, and things that we can applaud and things that we can all rally around and say, wow, that's great. And <laughs> But I guess my point is, is that when, when you see in social media, whether it's on my channel or somebody else's channel, people giving a side or a position, yes. I, I feel like that is a thing to listen to and form your own opinion about and even take a stand on and say, hey, I support this or I don't support this. But we all have to understand that we're operating on a small amount of information. Very rarely do we know everything that happened and the way that it happened, especially when it comes to fishing, which is one of the parts of our sport that makes it so hard hard to police. It makes it so hard to know exactly what happened because we're not on a playing field where there are five refs around. We're all over a lake and, and things that happen and conversations that happen don't happen in front of everybody. They happen after the tournament or before the tournament or while they're on the water. And so I guess my point is, yes, form an opinion. Realize, number one, that you're not forming an opinion that's based on all the facts. You're forming an opinion that's based on a small amount of information. And then recognize that there are other opinions and that you may stand strong in your opinion and it's just as acceptable for the next guy to stand strong in his opinion, even if it's not the same as yours. I, I, the, the opinion that we can all share is that we love fishing and that, 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 you know, this is a sport that we all share a common bond with. And I don't know, I just put this video out because I was getting kind of up to here with seeing all of this and wanted to, spread some love and peace and whatever. And I don't know whether that's going to happen or whether in the comments we're going to get, you know, a whole ton of, of negativity. But I, guys, I'd love to hear what you think about it. I, I and am asking again to, you know, share your opinions and, and be strong with them, but be civil and polite and respectful. And we'll see how this goes. It's getting a little buggy out here, so I'm going to kind of sign off. We will see you again tomorrow for another episode of Mark Fisher Outdoors. Guys, like I always say, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We definitely appreciate that. Tomorrow's Friday. we got one more episode to finish out the week. We'll see you then. Take care, everybody.